Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over the use hook, but this is going to be in the scope of the API. So how can we use the use hook to communicate with an API? So let's get started. So in React 19, you are going to be using the use hook. Now, I really think this is a good thing they've added in this because with the use hook, you can now make a request to your backend. And I'm going to show you the previous way of doing this. And then you can compare it with the current way of doing this using the use hook. So in the previous version, and just to quickly go over this, I'm basically just fetching the data using this fetch data function and you should know how to use this okay then I have a state it has to use and a way to update the state I'm just updating the state here with the data that I get and then I'm just using a suspense okay and I'm just checking that if this is not null then map through this and just put the data here okay that's it so this is the previous way of doing this that when you use your fetch function you would then update the state of your use state okay that was the previous way of doing this and i'm just going to show you if i refresh this you can see that we are getting all of this okay but I had to write a fetch function, then use a use effect to then run that after the page was done loading and then store that in my state. So that was the previous way of doing this. Now, in the new way of doing this, what you're doing is, yes, you are still creating the fetch function, but as you can see, I'm just getting this and I'm returning that. I'm just returning the data in my fetch function, okay? But here I have the use hook and I'm just passing my function in and this is the data that is returned that is getting put into this. And I'm just putting the data in my use hook into this variable called to do's now. So I don't need to create a use state now or need that update state function this is basically handling both of those things for me but i need to create a component for this and then put the use hook inside of that so this is a thing that you need to do but this isn't really a big issue because i have a suspense and then i'm putting the to-do list here and this to-do list is basically this so now if you're wondering where this is in the previous version it's basically this part right here so i'm basically just taking all of this and i've just made a separate component and then added that here that's all that's happening so the thing i wanted to compare between the two is I don't need to use the use effect and I don't need to use the use state anymore. In the new way, I just create the use hook and just pass in my fetch function to it. And this is doing the updating and the setting all of that for me. So if I go into this and refresh this, okay. As you can see, we have all of the to do's here for us so this is how you ended up doing this before you need to create a use state and a use effect now you don't need those anymore you can just use the use hook so i hope you like this tutorial if you guys have any suggestions about any other type of tutorial you can just tell me in the comments a lot of you end up asking for the same thing then i will make tutorials on that so like and subscribe for more future tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.